located in an ordinary Italian valley, lies the remains of a once industrial past. Tons of lignite coal was dug up from the landscape and combusted in large boilers. And this all to generate electricity. In this episode we'll be venturing inside the former power plant to uncover the hidden story of this impressive structure. We started our adventure on the terrain of the power station. There are multiple sections on the complex, but first we decided to head into the main attraction. And this is the former power station of course. As you may already notice, most of the structure is already stripped of its machinery and covered with gravity. In the past this floor housed multiple pumps, transporting the steam into the turbines. While we head up to the main floor, let's dive a bit into the history. Since the industrial revolution, Italy always had a problem. This problem is the lack of coal deposits in the country. This caused that even the smallest deposits of coal had to be developed for mining. Next to the power station a lake is located. This was originally an open pit mine. It first supplied coal to the local steel factory, a bit further up the mountain. We arrived in the former turbine hall. This hall once housed two Siemens turbines. Generating electricity 24-7. Nowadays not a lot reminds of this period in this stripped hall. The turbines have been replaced by pigeon droplets. And this once action packed place has become a room filled with pure silence. Next to the turbine hall a true highlight of this location can be found. This here is the control room. Built in a 50s era space age design, this truly was a sight to be seen. You can really sense that this room was meant to show the modernity of the complex, back in the day. A lot has been vandalized unfortunately, but here is a quick sight in how this room looked back in the days. Things like the turbines, boilers and the distribution of electricity were managed here. The opening date of the station was in 1958. At the time it had become the sole user of lignite coal dug up next to the station. Throughout the years the coal deposits of the mine began to dwindle, which meant the beginning of the end for the industry. After the closure of the plant most of the equipment was stripped out of the building. The best example was the completely demolished boiler house. It's really dumb done here. Here had the boilers. Maar het is gewoon echt afgehakt lijkt wel. Which once was accessible via the control room. Alright, we finished exploring the power plant building. Beside this there were also two pods dedicated for cooling purposes. We'll start with the small cooling tower of the facility. The beams were rotten though, so it wasn't accessible, but it gave a nice perspective. While we were heading to the other part, let me tell you how this place became abandoned. In 2001 the open pit mine was completely exhausted, which meant that the power plant had to shut down. 
After this, a new gas-powered power plant was opened a bit further. The mine was converted into a lake and water storage. We arrived at our final part of the complex, and this were these cooling fans. On top of the fans you had a nice perspective of the power plant. It's quite surreal to think that this place caused the creation of a complete lake. And this all by the need for electricity. The future of this power plant is uncertain due to it not being classified as historic, which will probably mean that this place will be demolished. <laughs>